Jen, is it bedtime already? Seems a little early to be kissing your Anna Jay goodnight. But, come here, Alexa, slow down. That is not true. I do not kiss my Chase Anna Jay figure. Not, not every night at least. But can you blame me? I mean, this is a big deal to me. Being a women's wrestling figure collector and to have my first chase I ever found in the wild be a female wrestling figure, especially one I wanted so bad. I mean, it blew me away. This figure means so much to me. Okay, so two questions. One, why is your face painted? And two, what are you doing with the chase figure? Okay, those are two very good questions, but I have to tell you, I'm a very superstitious person. And I thought maybe, just maybe, if I painted my face like Thunder Rosa and I held my Anna J Chase, maybe did some chants or something to that degree, it would increase my luck of receiving an Unrivaled Series 9 Chase, Thunder Rosa, from ringsidecollectibles.com. To be honest, that Rosa Chase does look beautiful. A lot more beautiful than you cosplaying as her. Well, that's it. I have had enough of you talking trash to me. So here it is. Me versus you. Mono e co co mono in a lights out match. Remember what happened last time we had a lights out match? Oh. Okay, you know what? That... That was not a lights out match. It was bedtime and me and Randall Keith were trying to go to sleep. You just turned the lights off and committed murder. And I'll pop you the same way if you step to me. Oh, okay. Tranquilo, mommy. Tranquilo. But you know what? Let's put our differences aside. Let's just open up this package and see if we got a chase. Well, no chase, Comair Alexa, but you know what? That's okay, I'll be on the hunt for that. I'm actually really happy to have this figure here because this regular version's freaking awesome! No surprise there. Disappointment is your middle name. Hey, that's not true. That's not even my middle name. I don't... I don't even think I have a middle name. Let's see, first name Mayor, last name Aaron. Hmm. You're an idiot. Just review the figure. Bienvenida a Lumberjovo. La lucha libre para mujeres vive aquí. And welcome to today's really exciting review of AEW Unrivaled Series 9 Thunder Rosa. I feel like we've had to wait a long time for this figure. I reviewed Unrivaled Series 8 Chris Statlander months ago, so I'm really excited to review this, especially because it looks like one of the best I'm ever going to get the chance to review in Lumberjovo, so I'm really excited to take a closer look. So that being said, let's start off taking a look at the more controversial subject surrounding this figure, and that's the packaging. Alright, so let's start off talking about the bit of controversy that's surrounding uh, this figure series in particular as far as the packaging goes and what's included. And that is that we did not get the AEW Upper Deck cards included in this series. Now, what makes that controversial is Jeremy Power announced, I believe via Twitter a few months back, that this series would have those AEW Upper Deck cards. And not only that, MOC images of these figures that we've seen have included the Upper Deck logo in the corner and the pack of cards behind the figure, and that was stripped away. So that's a little confusing. I'm okay with it because I think it makes the figure stand out better MOC, but I know there's a lot of people out there that collect cards and might have ordered this whole series, for example, just to get those AEW Upper Deck yellow cards. So it's weird that we didn't get that feature. And I honestly hope that ringsidecollectibles.com updates their MOC images of this line because I think it's a bit of false advertising to have that Upper Deck logo on the box with the cards behind the figures in the images online when 
we just didn't get that. And it's not just me, you know, anyone else that's gotten their series so far has not gotten those cards or the logo on the box. So I don't know if that feature was taken away completely or what, but I think an announcement needs to be made because I worry about all the collectors out there that might've kind of gotten screwed over because they wanted the cards and they didn't get them. But for me, you know, putting that all to the side for me, I think it looks a lot better without that big upper deck logo that we saw at Unmatched Series 3 or the pack of cards behind the figure. That didn't bother me too much, but still, it kind of took away from the MOC display. And in my opinion, I've said this time and time again, these AEW figures have the best packaging around. Not just wrestling figures. I mean, I look at other figures, other lines. I love this packaging. I love the black and gold theme of the Unrivaled line, and I love the silver and black theme of the Unmatched line. And I think there's nothing like it. It's just beautiful, gorgeous packaging. I, I love everything about it. And here with Thunder Rosa, this pops. And I did order a separate one to keep MOC. I have all the AEW women's figures uh, MOC on my wall. So that's definitely something I plan to keep doing because they just look so good MOC. And this Thunder Rosa with the black and gold color scheme even matches her attire, which is black and gold. So this is just a really sharp look. It really pops. I'd like to get this signed one day. I think this would look beautiful to get signed. But yeah. So looking at the packaging closer here, we have the AEW logo on the top. We have that gold foil type cardboard that looks tremendous. We have an image of Thunder Rosa on the front. Her name on the side, a smaller image there with the series and also the number. And on the back, we have a larger image of her in that attire that this figure is based off of, along with where she wore it, which was AEW All Out. And then we have the rest of the line. Now, it is important to note, like I mentioned in the intro, the chase figure of this line is Thunder Rosa. And I have to tell you, I am going to end up spending uh, eBay prizes for it. I hate to admit that, but I have to tell you that's the one chase that I need in my collection. It's it's awesome. Look it up online. Ringside Collectibles Instagram, I believe, has images of it. She's an all blue. It's a more classic look for Thunder. But yeah, I, I, I want to try to get that. But either way, I'm going to open it up off camera because it's going to be ugly. It's going to be a massacre of the package. And yeah, I don't think anyone wants to see that. So let me open her up here and we'll take a closer look. AEW Unrivaled Series 9, Thunder Rosa. This attire is from AEW All Out, which took place on September 5th, 2020. On this night, Hikaru Shida would defeat Thunder Rosa to retain the AEW Women's Championship. Alright, some overall first impressions of this figure. I'm uh, completely blown away. I really am. This is a work of art. And to have an official Thunder Rosa figure in front of me, it makes my heart happy. You know, when I started Lumber Jillville about two years ago, I started following Thunder Rosa and her career because she was making a name for herself. And I became a huge fan quick. I absolutely admire the woman and think she's amazing. So to have an official AEW figure release in front of me is truly awesome. I'm super proud to add this to my collection. It's been a long time coming for her. So yeah, my first impressions, I'm blown away. Now we are going to break this figure down piece by piece and take a closer look. But I just want to give you my first thoughts. And now let's take a closer look at her accessories. So she does come with a bunch of extra hands. She comes with... Two hands that are semi-open to grasp. She comes with two closed fist hands. And then obviously she comes with these hands that's in this little pose that she does. In the package she was like this, but from what I know her as, she poses a lot like that. So those are the hands, and obviously we didn't get those upper deck cards unfortunately. But let's look at the other accessories we did get with her, including this headpiece here, which is decorated really nice now i am gonna say that it doesn't fit on her head that good like you kind of have to balance it which i kind of like and i kind of don't i kind of like because it does look pretty authentic when it does sit right it doesn't look gaudy or too bulky or anything but you do kind of got to set it in place see it's not even on there that good oh and move forward that looks good so it does look really good and taking a closer look at it here we have these black skulls that are painted very nice, and we have the gold crown type design here in the background painted with a metallic gold with the roses on the side with the black and gold theme, and yeah, this headpiece rules. 
And like I said, there's no like grooves or anything to set it in, but you kind of place it there and it looks, it looks awesome. So I don't really have any complaints with that. I think it looks pretty awesome. Now this jacket, when I first saw images, I actually thought it was soft goods up until when I got this figure because they did such a great job with the sculpting and molding of this. This is a soft rubber type material. But it's high quality, y'all. I mean, the tassels are all molded individually, look great. They have little silver uh, holes that they come through there. And then on the back here, we have Thunder Rosa La Meta Mare. I probably butchered that. But anyway, it's pretty cool. So this piece actually comes off really easily. I thought they're armholes, but it slides right off her shoulder. So there we have it. Oh, that's super awesome. Okay, so yeah, looking at this, this is a, a real soft piece of rubber or plastic, I guess you'd say. It's kind of what we've been seeing a lot in AEW figures, but it, it's perfect. I mean, it looks great. It should hold up a lot better than soft goods, but yeah. So the accessories are pretty freaking awesome that we do get with this figure. Now, with that being said, let's take a closer look at the figure itself, starting with that face. All right, so two real quick things before we do cover that face sculpt and scan and take a look at the rest of the figure here in detail. Uh, the first thing is it is thunderstorming here, so I do apologize if you hear heavy rain or hear thunder in the background, but I thought it's too good to be thundering during a Thunder Rosa review, so I'm going to keep filming. I'm doing it. Um, and the second thing is I think there's a little bit of a, a error or a misprint on the back of the jacket here where it says La Mera. It should say Mera. So there should be an A at the end of the second one. That's kind of her nickname. So La Mera Mera is not a thing. It should be La Mera Mera. So I don't know if they ran out of room. Um, but yeah, so that that's something I just kind of thought about once I turned the camera off. So that being said, let's take a close look at the face. All right, so there is a lot to unpack here and a lot to love about this face sculpt and scan, I have to say. Now, the first thing I want to point out that I absolutely love is the emotion in the sculpt. Okay, a lot of times with our women's wrestling figures, we get just a straight face or a smile and that's about it. But here we get a very aggressive, very intense look. And not only does it portray Thunder very well, but it's great to have in your collection because this right here embodies what she's all about. She's very intense and dedicated. And I just love the emotion. I, I think that's great. I can't say enough good about that. Now, the second thing that you'll notice, obviously, is that face paint. They did a great job replicating the face paint that she wears, especially what she wore on this night. She changes it up quite a bit, but on this night, looking at images and comparing it to this figure, it, it looks pretty spot on. Now, needless to say, when I was painting my face for the intro, I actually looked at the figure to uh, kind of go off of because I couldn't find any real good images from the match with Sheeta. So that's just how good they did on this. And on top of that, you can kind of see how the paint goes down to her neck area there, her clavicle. That's really cool. So yeah, th this does look a lot like Thunder Rosa. It, to me, it looks a lot better in person. Images online, I was like, yeah, that kind of looks like her, but I, I think it looks great. I think it looks tremendous. I think it looks spot on. And the fact that they nailed the face paint and gave her this aggressive look is just tremendous. Now looking at the hair sculpt itself, I think the sculpt is really cool, you know? Very unique to her. But I do wish it was a little bit darker, maybe a little bit of a darker brown. But either way, it doesn't take away from the tremendous sculpt and scan to me. I just think the hair is so-so, but it works. So now let's move on down to that attire. All right, so moving on down to the attire and body sculpt, and I have to be honest, AEW Jazz Wars is absolutely killing it in this regard, and it's amazing how far they've come from their first women's wrestling figure, which Brandy Rhodes, till now. I mean, they've progressively gotten better, in my opinion, and they've done a lot of things to make themselves better, and one of those things that they do is they try to make the women's wrestling figures very accurate to them. They don't reuse parts a whole lot. They may, might make modifications to certain parts they've had before, but they do make uniquely sculpted parts and I think that's amazing I think that's how it should be so here is no different we get unique parts here that were made just for Thunder Rosa and I can't say enough good about that I mean the body sculpt is spot on now we are going to turn this figure around and say that yes they they did you know very accurate here on the back as professional as I can sound, I'm not trying to be weird, but yeah, they did a great job with the body sculpt, resembling her all the way to the back here, so they did great there. Now, looking at the attire here, so this 
upper top here is a sculpted piece with a little bit of sculpting between the chest to simulate like a fabric fold there. And on the back, there's a little bit of sculpted folds there too. As far as the design goes, we have a silver border, which is awesome. AEW Jazzwares is not afraid to use metallic paint in their women's wrestling figures. And that's another plus that they've been doing. I absolutely love that. So we have that silver metallic trim going around all the way to the back. We have this really intricate gold skull painted on there. Like Day of the Dead skull there. Looks great. And on the back, we have these two lightning bolts here that are painted gold. Moving on down to the bottoms, these are once again sculpted on nicely. They come around and they're even sculpted on the behind there, which is cool. It's not just painted on, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's a really cool feature that they did. And design-wise, we have the silver trim going around. We have that part of the gold skull on the side of the trunks there. And on the back, we have Thunder on the left side, Rosa on the right with a nice design pattern. Now, moving on down, she has knee pads here that are a soft rubber with a silver rose on the left and nothing on the right. And on the back here, they are half toned, so we got gold color on the back, black in the front. And then we have these molded on, kind of like knee sleeves underneath the knee pads, which is really cool that they did that. And then here's what's really awesome, in my opinion. I really love these boots and kick pads. And what's cool about the kick pads here is they come down on top of the actual foot. I do think the foot might be a little small. It looks kind of tiny, but it's really cool that that kick pad kind of comes down and you can see how it's a separate molded piece on top of the foot itself. So yeah, that, that's really cool as far as, sculpt, as far as sculpting goes. And also the coloration, you know, that metallic gold really pops here with those black lightning bolts. And here we have La Mera Mera. Um, which is what I wish was on the back of the jacket, but it's right here. So that's cool. So yeah, the attire and body sculpt is just tremendous. Like I said, this figure is a work of art with how much detail, attention to detail they put into it. And I love it. All right. So now let's check out the articulation here. So with the head, she can look down pretty good. She can look up slightly. She can look right. She can look left. And her head is on a ball joint, so she can move that head in all different directions. Now what's cool about these AEW Jazzwares figures is they seem to be on a ratchet type joint. So the shoulder's on a ball joint, but you can kind of feel it kind of click into place slightly. And that really does add some stability to the joint. So I really like that shoulder joint there. We have the upper arm swivel at the top of the bicep. We have the double jointed elbows, which allows maximum flexion, which is cool because I'm going to pose her with that flexed really far back like that. We have the wrist, which is swivel. Um, you can also extend it and you can flex it. We have that upper torso swivel. It really doesn't have a whole lot of movement, to be honest with you. You know, you can kind of flex down a little bit, extend a little bit, and kind of side bend, but it really doesn't have a whole lot of movement here. We have the waist swivel. We have the hip on a ball joint, which can move in all different directions. We have that upper thigh swivel. Now with that knee pad and that painted sleeve underneath, it really does not inhibit the flexion she can perform in her knees. So she has double jointed knees that really do flex great. And then we have an upper boot swivel and the foot can plantar flex and dorsi flex. And what I really like about it is it does have that ratchet type click. So you can kind of feel it ratchet into place there, and that's really good to add stability to the figure when you're displaying it. So yeah, articulation definitely passes on this figure. And here's one last look at AEW Unrivaled Series 9, Thunder Rosa. Alright, so now it's time to give this figure an overall score. Now remember, my AEW Unmatched and Unrivaled figures are on their own individual scale, so it's not really fair to compare them to elites and basics and all that. So the AEW women's figures are on their own scale here in LJV. Now that being said, I give Thunder Rosa from AEW Unrivaled Series 9 an overall score of an 11.5 out of 10. This is the best AEW women's figure that I have reviewed on the channel. Now going back to Unmatched Series 2, I gave that Ty Conti an 11 out of 10, and at the time that was the best figure I've reviewed in Lumber Joeville, but I actually do think this Thunder Rosa is better than that Ty Conti because not only is this a masterpiece as far as likeness goes sculpting and uniqueness 
But here we also get extra accessories that we really didn't get with that Ty Conti figure. We got this awesome headpiece. We got this awesome vest jacket type thing that is sculpted very intricately. And to me, I don't know if there's a more toyetic figure in my collection than this. And I've really been anticipating Thunder Rosa to get a figure for a long time. Like I said, I'm a huge fan. I've been following her for a while as far as her career goes. So they definitely did her justice with this figure. Now, I really, 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 really hope to get the chase. Maybe two chases because I'd love to open it up and review it because that looks like a more iconic look for her. But the look that they went with here is very toyetic and it's amazing. I honestly can't say enough good about this figure. I, I would... 1000% go and order it on ringsidecollectibles.com. Use code LJV to save 10% because this figure is tremendous. I could sit here all day and talk about how much I love it. Thanks for stopping by Lumber Jillville. Women's wrestling lives here. For a first look at all future women's wrestling figure reviews, make sure to hit subscribe and become an official resident of LJV today. Also make sure to hit like to help the video out. Now with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's review. I'll see y'all soon and have a great night, y'all.